What is the fastest animal in the world? Did you guess a cheetah? Well, they are the fastest running animal in the world, but they don't hold the title for overall top speed. So, what is the fastest animal in the world? The peregrine falcon can fly over 200 miles per hour. That definitely beats the cheetah's 70 mile per hour run. How is it possible for an animal to be able to fly that fast? Let's take a look at the shape of their bodies. Like most falcons, peregrines have long, slender bodies that allow them to become aerodynamic. Peregrine falcons will soar high in the sky or perch on tall cliff edges. When they spot their next meal, they will tuck their wings into their body and dive. This is called a stoop. During the stoop, they let gravity help them reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. Now imagine a time you were riding on a really fast roller coaster or stuck your head out of a moving car window. Does it get harder or easier to breathe the faster you go? It gets harder, right? Our nostrils can't take in that much air coming at us, so we lose our breath. And breathing is really important, especially while you're hunting. So falcons have a specialized nostril that is cone-shaped. It has a spiral in the middle that helps baffle the air so they can breathe while moving at top speeds. What happens though if a peregrine is hunting on a bright sunny day? How do they prevent the sun from getting in their eyes? If we look closely at their face, falcons have two dark stripes or marks under their eyes. These are called malar marks and they direct the sun away from the falcon's eye. This helps make sure that the falcon doesn't lose sight of their prey in the bright sunlight. If these marks look familiar, it's because football and baseball players actually stole this nifty trick directly from nature. Using all these adaptations, the peregrine zooms in closer to its prey. These guys are aerial hunters, which means they catch their food in the sky. As it flies closer and closer to its meal, the peregrine falcon will extend their long toes and slap their prey right out of the sky. Getting hit by a slap going 200 miles an hour would not feel very good. In fact, it knocks the bird right out of the air, which is a lot easier to catch than a bird that is trying to get away from you. All of these adaptations have allowed peregrine falcons to successfully live in large cities. Pigeon populations make an excellent food source and skyscrapers a suitable habitat. All humans have to do is put up nest boxes on the top of the tallest building in their city to help attract the fastest animal in the world. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Avian Adventures. We'll see you next week.